Well, the journey actually began when I was still a medical student in Glasgow. I was actually a patient volunteer for a drug delivery system that, that sort of started it off. Yeah. We were actually earmarked to start a clinical research centre and then I got the opportunity to actually be certified in good clinical practice being one of the first few in the hospital. So we started uh, developing our infrastructure and eventually got the first clinical trial in. And after that, uh, we had a good track record for recruitment. So later on, we got more and more trials in. So since then, we have got quite a lot of new research projects coming in. I got the opportunity to be the principal investigator in a phase two trial. Yeah, of course, uh, we made a few mistakes uh, along the way. And then uh, we learned how to do uh, the trial properly according to the protocol and then uh, face a few uh, problems here and there with patients having adverse events and all but later on we managed to learn how to do it the right way uh, of course I have to thank my boss uh, Dr Lee who actually uh, was very encouraging and supported me during this time so he also gave me opportunity to be the principal investigator in certain trials as well some of the patients have had uh, very good, I mean we do some diabetic trials, so some of the patients have the very good improvement in blood sugar, okay? And some of them have also become more compliant to their medications and also improve their lifestyle as a result of intensive monitoring uh, through being in, in, in clinical research as well. The hospital so far we have been doing a few uh, the diabetes trials and we have also got uh, heart failure registry, okay? And yeah, and, and we, we were supposed to start a few others, but uh, unfortunately they were actually uh, discontinued uh, and, or some of them actually bypassed Malaysia completely. Okay, and we're going to start some other uh, therapeutic area trials as well in the future. Of course, some of the patients will have the perception that uh, you know we are treating them like guinea pigs, you know, and, and they are reluctant. But then again, uh, after some explanation, you know, then some of them open up to the idea, and eventually, a lot of them are thankful for the opportunity to be actually in, uh, involved in clinical research. We we manage them according to the standard of care as well. So I, I wouldn't say that there is a very big difference. Just that they are on a, some of them will be on an experimental medication. Well, definitely to be very meticulous, okay, and then uh, also uh, a lot of time management, and it also exposed me to many other areas uh, above and beyond just a normal clinical practice. It's always based on the situation at the time. I mean, sometimes trials are just beginning sometimes trials have ended and then there's always the process of getting other new trials in so that that you, you can never plan for that sometimes you have to do a lot of extra work uh, reviewing uh, feasibilities uh, negotiating budgets mm, of course uh, certain training would be very good uh. for example uh, clinical investigator training and then uh, sharing of experience from experienced investigators who have done numerous trials mm -hmm. okay uh, and also perhaps some help with uh, budget negotiations uh, and uh, actually what we also need is uh, enough trained staff so okay who can actually support us like enough uh, yeah. study coordinators uh, that would be very very helpful mm. well it just uh, makes us uh, have the opportunity to do more than just uh, treat based on the current uh, things that we have but we have now also an opportunity to actually venture into new territory to see whether new therapies can actually benefit our patients in the future so it makes the whole job more exciting I think there are two ways to look at it okay <laughs> it, it wouldn't it would be a disadvantage if we don't have certain therapeutic area specialists that are necessary for certain kind of trials but I mean, if we look for the trials that we can do, there are actually a very large number out there. Uh, trials that actually uh, would require our, our patient population, our expertise as well. So if we are able to capitalize on that, we have a very large number of patients here in our area as well okay, to tap on to. I was just say go for it. Uh. You you definitely have to learn by doing it. So if you have ever have the opportunity to be involved in something with an experienced uh, investigator, by all means don't give up the opportunity. I'm always uh, doing feasibilities and trying to get new trials in.